Ah, what a beautiful morning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Legend of the Eyes. As you can see from the last episode, if you watched the last episode, if you haven't watched the last episode, definitely go and watch that episode and then come back and watch this one and leave uh, like both videos. Don't leave them. Please don't like them. Yes. Anyway, if you watched the last episode, we now have it back to seven hearts, as you can see right there. Issue solved. And I also went ahead and rated, uh, <clears throat> I mean, asked and borrowed. Yeah, asked and borrowed things from this village, and this is the result of it. We found two diamonds in the, in the last minute of the last episode, so that's really cool. Four saddles, a bunch of saplings, horse armor, some more chests, emeralds, and a bunch of food. Which, speaking of, I want to try and potentially get another heart by using these potatoes. I've already eaten some cooked mutton. Uh, also going to be making some bread, if possible. And I don't know if there's anything, I mean, I guess raw bacon, I haven't actually eaten that. Mutton, oh, we might actually be able to get quite a bit here. Uh, apple, I don't know if I've eaten this quite yet. Farmer's Delight, I believe we have, I mean, it would make sense. Farmer's Delight, so this is clearly a food mod. And we're going to have to take a look into, to, into this because we want as many hearts as possible. So we're probably going to be doing a lot of cooking. Yes, cooking. And there we go. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, potentially never before eaten foods. Uh, normally, you wouldn't really use these just to eat them like this, I don't think. Yeah, you would use them for things like shepherd's pie, roasted mutton chops. Ooh, wrap. Oh no, now I'm getting hungry in real life. Anyway, I'm not really hungry right now, so I'm just gonna bring this on the go for the on the for the on the go because we are leaving. Uh, I think I think I have everything. So the plan for today, I should probably have started with that. We're going to go down our pillar that we used to get up here in the last episode, and then we're going to explore. I want to explore the world. I with me have. Uh, a waystone, and yes, that's replay mod, even though it's not even running. Um, but yes, I have that waystone on me, so I can always teleport back here if need be. I'm pretty sure this has been activated. So in here, we can always teleport to Sky Village. We will confirm that by going over to this one right here. So, uh, I should probably bring a bed, though. I should probably bring some form of being able to sleep while sleeping back. Sounds good. Yep. That should do it. And it has just turned a daytime as well. So we should be good. I just need to find where I came from. All right, and down we go. That took quite a while. Now I also need to figure out how to get down from here and I think, no, I'm not gonna, uh, I almost, I am tempted to LMG it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use this old style water elevator, which is admittedly, admittedly a little bit slow. So maybe I just, yep, yep, that's water, right? Oh, no it wasn't, that was the shaders. This blue stuff wasn't water, that was the shaders. Okay, and here we here we go. Alright. I need to get rid of or rid no, I need to get out of this forest. First though, I do want to quickly not pick up these seeds, but come over here to this portal and pick up uh this. The block of gold. That might become useful. And I'm not sure in what direction to go. I'm scared looking at the map with the screen open. Uh, I guess anywhere. I guess, I guess we just kind of go. I have the waystone. I can always place it down whenever I want to go home. We have the sleeping bag. I think we are set. However, admittedly, I should have made a shield. I completely forgot about that. I just realized something. Bread has just been eaten. Eat five other foods to fully restore the nutrition value. Huh, that's interesting. So it seems maybe like the more you eat one type of food, the worse it gets. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to keep an eye on that. I will also be stealing or taking uh, <clears throat> some of this 
<laughs> some of this coal uh, before we move on. Because it is going to be... If we're going to ma be making a lot of food, I mean, we're going to need a lot of coal to be cooking. So, you know, it's important. Also, I'm getting a ton of levels, which is really good. Oh, there's a bit of a cave entrance here. I don't actually have any torches on me. I could make some. Um, no, I, I have seven hearts. I don't think I need to <laughs> worry about caving right now. However, this looks kind of cool. I really should have made a shield, shouldn't I? Uh, why didn't I make a shield? I should have made a shield for sure. Oh, don't want to go down there. Please don't. Oh, there's iron here. Ooh. Well, it is also time for a nap, I think. My sleeping bag. Wait. Can't I? Sleep in it? Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> I put... I can't... Oh. Oh, you use it to... Okay. Right. Um... The sleeping bag is not what I thought it was. I... I need sheep. I don't have a shield. I don't have a bed. It's night time, and I have seven hearts. Why? <laughs> Just why? Don't get me wrong. I mean, the ambience is beautiful. The view is beautiful. I just fancy not dying, you know? I'm also going to eat a raw potato. That way, hopefully, we'll get another heart today. All right, and this time, we're going to be making an actual bed. Because that is probably going to be more useful than the other thing. And off we go again. Whoa, this is interesting. I was confused on what this orange stuff was. And it's lava. It's pouring out of this one hole down this entire mountain or hill. That's actually really, really cool. Wow, it is time for some more food things. So I'm going to eat some raw mutton chops. Not very delicious. An apple. Then hopefully with some cooked mutton chops and some cooked bacon and a carrot, we should be good to get another heart. Also, I am going due north because if we take a look at the map up here, seems to be some sort of structure and I desperately want to check it out. Whoa. Eh. That's very nice. That is not very nice though. Please go away. Ooh, we got pumpkins for more food thingies and then we have that. Huh. I would love to find some iron so I could just make a shield, because if I'm going into places that is potentially dangerous, then a shield is going to be an absolute must. I feel like I... Oh! Okay. Well, that's clearly... It. Oh, there you are. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> really weird. Also, it is time for some cooked bacon. Ooh, we did get another heart. Wow. So that means I might be able to get maybe another one soon. Anyway, I need iron. There is no iron. Eh. Well, before we're going in there, I'm going to pick up some pumpkins. These guys are gonna come in handy. New recipes unlocked. Very nice. I don't need a lot, just like maybe 12 or something like that. Yep, 12 sounds good. And now we're heading in here. Uh, ooh. Okay, that's a lot of lootable stuff. Ah, and that's why. We have a spawner. Okay. The, okay, hello. Yeah, this is why I most definitely need a shield. So if I go ahead and take and do this, it should be good. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, here he comes, here he comes, out in the sun. Yep, there you are. Please die. Whew. Okay, okay. Eat some raw bacon and rush in. Get the spawner. Good. Okay, that's scary. I'll get back to that drop. <laughs> I don't see any other spawners. I do see a chest up there. Okay, so we do have some interesting things here. We have honey, we have dried kelp and bone. I will take it, and if I can, I will take the barrels as well, because that is useful to be making 
copper barrels, then iron barrels, gold barrels, etc. for storage. That is not too bad, and I will take, of course, well, all the honey and the dried kelp. It's food, and it is useful for other things. Uh, however, my axe did just break. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a baked potato. We're getting closer to a ninth heart. Oh, wow, a lot of candles. Ooh, iron! Iron, iron, iron. That is perfect. Finally. I was hoping I could find that here. Shield acquired. I feel a lot safer now. Ooh, we got bamboo in this one. We got a leather cap. I'll take that. Glowberries, iron nuggets. I will take it. I will not complain. A stack of gunpowder. Wow. Wow, wow. Okay, these are definitely worth it. Don't know if I'm going to take all of them. But I mean, this is some pretty good stuff. Okay, this one must be the best. <laughs> we got iron. Uh, let's just organize this. We got bamboo. We got string, golden apple, clay, terracotta, iron axe, unbreaking. Wow. Mud. Is this useful? Doesn't really seem like it. Smooth mud. Yeah, I don't think it's that important to grab. I will grab everything else I can get my hands on, though. Eh, there we go. Ooh! Leather tunic. I don't think I need the arrows. It's actually two. That is very, very welcome. Especially the moss as well. Now, bas we, we basically have unlimited moss now, because we can just bone meal it, and boom, we have more. And yes, I did just take that salmon, because that food, e new food equals more hearts. Oh, wow, redstone. Okay, good stuff. Well, now all that remains is that up there, and that weird hole. Ooh, okay, I'll, I'll take it. That's better than the leather. I think I can put that back in there. Regeneration potion. I don't think I need that. Probably going to regret in the future that I didn't pick that up. But let's now go down here. I am scared. Okay. I do kind of want this spawner. So maybe if I just drop... I want to run flesh so I can trade. If I... if. Oh, those are water elevators? Alright, really quickly gonna eat this. And pick up this broken spawner, which I assume we can turn into a soul cage and then potentially an actual spawner. Okay, the, the bubbles are going up. I guess we're going down. Oh boy, I am a little bit scared. I don't know what I'm expecting here. Could be a trap. Uh, hello? Oh. Okay, that was that's scary. I'm not gonna break that. Okay. <laughs> Phantom wandering trader spawn egg, diamond shovel, phantom membrane. Um I think you break that and then water flushes down and it becomes an elevator. Okay. I think oh that's lead. I think I'm going to have to place a barrel here and place some of the things that I'm not going to need on this particular journey. I, I, I don't like the sounds around me. I placed most valuable stuff in here. I have some extra food so that we can eat the bread as well. Uh, what does this do? I guess I'll just press it. And break this. Mangrove stuff. Yep. As I thought, this is going down. Amethyst. I mean, if we ever need amethyst, we know where to get it now. Uh, can I? Okay, so there is, there is treasure here and there. Nope. <laughs> I just, I just, I just want to, I just want to get this chest. Ah. Well, well, well. At least I can pick it up. That's good to know. Things can be trapped here. That's not appreciated. But also, you don't get me that easily. Let's place this here. Be very careful. 
with the chest that we open. Uh, this one is a tricky one. Do we have anything bad here? No. Whoa, uh, enchanted golden apple. Okay. Glow dye, honey bottle, sand, redstone, comparator, loyalty, name tag, bottle of enchanting, lapis, and amethyst shard. Okay, now that. That was some good stuff right there. And then we have the bottom with pressure plates and darkness and things. Let's just go down there. Let's see what happens. This is clearly... I was about to say, this is clearly a dungeon. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I could do? I could place a waystone here. This would be a great place to place a waystone. I think I'm going to go up, place it up there, and I should be able to teleport back to the village with some of my things before we go ahead and loot this thing. So if I just place a waystone, like, right uh, here, and dungeon. So now I should be able to teleport to Sky Village. And from Sky Village to here. Yes! That worked wonders! Hello, Butcherer! Nice to see you again. Alright, let me get things organized and we will get to work on that dungeon. Also, in case you were wondering, no item storage or uh, sorting whatsoever. I I'm just uh, f filling things in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking, dumping, and that's pretty much it. I'm also going to be placing a bed right here. So I can sleep, set my spawn, and then I'll spawn back here if I die. Because that is very likely. Alright, let us go and see what happens here. Well, I already see we have one skeleton at the bottom. Looks like we have multiple, but that's just the reflections, which are really cool. And we have a lot of TNT over there. All right, let's get some light down right away here. Surround this. Okay. I want to be careful with things because things could be trapped. Um, okay, the ambient down here is amazing. It's creepy. Really creepy. You're a knight. Hopefully I don't get put... Send... Okay, this place is really, really dangerous. Ooh, pumpkin pie. Um, oh, you're a problem. Yeah, you, you, you're a problem, fella. You're a problem. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> uh, yes, just to be safe. Just to be safe. This also seems very explosive. I, I'm gonna take it one at a time here. All right, let's try and go this way, I suppose, after I get some of this stuff. Okay, that's a skeleton spawner. A skeleton spawner. And I should probably get rid of this uh, as fast as possible. All right, good start. I obviously want to grab the ores when I can. I need a salmon. Hopefully we can get a ninth heart here soon. That would be ideal. Ooh. We'll grab all this, though. Redstone is... Actually, I should clear... Make sure this is clear. Looks like it. Oh, wow. Yep. Rabbit's foot and everything. I wonder how big this thing is. Like this place. I wonder how big. If it's a like in... Stone block. Then it could be big. I need to be careful, because those guys can hit pretty hard. Oh, no. Oh, that's a that's an ominous banner one as well. Like, oh, Vindicator. Hmm. Hmm. Whew. That was a close one. And now I have bad omens, so I can't return to the floating village. Okay. That's a bad sign. And we just got the ninth heart. I wasn't recording that part. <laughs> okay. Okay, th this, this is dangerous work. This is a dangerous, dangerous work. Thankfully, the spawners are fairly easy to get rid of. 
We have cave spiders over here as well. But we do have loot. Which is why we're here, of course. Uh, glowberry? So if I'm missing food, I should be able to drink honey, pumpkin pie, uh, cake, <laughs> and one other thing if I find it. In fact, down the honey bottle goes. Pumpkin pie is next. Okay, let's clear this area. We have spiders over here. We have a creeper. Go back. We'll let it blow up. Place torch. And the chest over there is trapped. That's TNT. Let's break this. Nope, please don't. I already don't have that many hearts to work with. Okay, never mind. Just ignore me. Oh, hello. Trying to sneak up from behind, huh? Don't appreciate it. And to be honest, I almost forgot that this chest was trapped. <laughs> okay, what we got here. Oh, a diamond hoe and copper ingots. Wow. I'll take it. Music disc, lapis. Don't think I need the seed. Oh, there's one up here. What do you have? Oh, iron leggings. Iron leggings. Would you look at that? That is an upgrade from before. Sweet. I think I have a lot of loot. I am going to go back. Uh, put it in. Oh, yep. I'm gonna go back, empty my inventory, and then come back in. I should have placed my waystone down here, actually. I don't know if I can move it or not. I kind of don't want to risk it breaking and then me not getting it back. This is also a good opportunity for me to... I forgot about the raid. I forgot about the raid. I forgot about the raid. I so forgot about the raid. Question is, are they going to spawn here or not? I don't know. I'm panicking. This is not good. I just summoned a raid. Uh, yep, I hear, I hear them. I hear them, guys. This, uh, uh, boy, that is not good. Really, really not good. Where are my carrots? They better not spawn up here. Like if they spawn underneath us, we're good. Cause then it doesn't matter. But I don't know what they do. Hold on. I saw a banner. I saw a banner. I saw a banner. They are up here. Pretty sure they are up here. Yes, they are. Alright, it's my duty to protect this place. I cost this. <laughs> it's just not the easiest city to attack. I need to get up there and then... And then I think that guy just fell down. Okay. And I don't think that I'm going right there is going to do anything. Okay, this is a problem. Two raiders remain. Uh, I really don't want the villagers getting hurt. They just need to get in their houses and stay there. I mean, if I can't find any more, that means they are below us somewhere. And then we're good? Oh, no, there he is. And I'm going to take care of him. Oh, lovely. Here we go. Here's the next raid. I mean, that's... Oh! I didn't kill a single one! <laughs> and now the villagers are gonna give me free stuff. Wow. <laughs> Easiest raid ever. Wow. I did not expect this. However, it is welcomed. <laughs> I will not complain. What, what are your prices? Yep, things are on sale. Love it. Lo love it. Love it. As a celebration, I'm going to eat golden carrot. Yes. Hopefully soon, I can get the 10th heart. Anyway, back to the dungeon. And for that, I'm going to put this ominous banner on my shield. Perfect. Alright, we proceed. I'm going to wait with that. Till later. Oop. Uh, spawner over here. Let's make sure all of this is nice and lit. Is this trapped? It shouldn't be. Ooh, blaze powder! Yes, please! <laughs> any time, any day, any year. Uh, also not trapped, I hope, anyway. Creeper head. Let's get some of this stuff. Okay, different, uh, different saplings. That 
can actually be a very useful arrow of regeneration i don't really find that useful however i will take the run flesh and the food of course and then there's this which i will patiently wait with i think a backpack oh wow a stack and a wow I think a backpack is definitely very quickly going to become something that I should focus on making. Alright, pushing in. Get rid of spawner. We're good. Area secured. That is trapped. Not on my watch. What is this stuff? Scotia. Huh. Eh. Well, let's see what we've got here. Crossbow. Right. Yeah, I, I definitely, most definitely need some sort of backpack because, oh wow, yep, I need a backpack. That, that's just reality. I need a backpack. I haven't even been here, like, I, ha I haven't even, like, gone in 25% of this place and I, <laughs> I need to go back constantly. I need a backpack. Now, something really, really cool with having that dungeon as well, or having found that dungeon, is the fact that this uh, old eye, the old eye can very rarely be found in a FTB dungeon. So we could potentially get our first eye today, depending on how, depending on how long it takes me to make this backpack. So I need four leather. I believe I have that. A gold ingot. Backpack tanks, I already have a sleeping bag and a chest, and the backpack tanks are just a bunch of glass and some iron, which I think, yep, I have all of that, including a bunch of sand. And I have exactly four leather, so this should be pretty easy to get a hold of. Oh, hold on, look at this. So, I have a bad feeling about this. While exploring, you may come across pillagers, blah, 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 but then this, uh, entering a village, bad omen, etc. But this thing, the netherite emerald ingot. While the villagers definitely do appreciate you saving their lives, they're still traders first and foremost. While you have the hero of the village effect, give a village an emerald netherite ingot, which will then give us the lost eye. Huh. Very useful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have everything I need, except for the chest to make the standard traveler's backpack. I... Oh yeah, I also, of course, need the sleeping bag. There we go. The golem is keeping an eye out on stuff, which is good. All right, boom. Quest completed. Is that, that was a quest? Is it in here? No. Oh, all right. <laughs> Wait, yes it is. Oh, well, I have, let's just do this. Oh, that was just, oh. Okay, th this could be good. We're gonna save that. Anyway, here we are, backpack, and I don't know if I can equip it in any slot, I don't seem to have a slot here, I can't put it here, so I think it's just something that I'm holding, and I have access to the inventory. So that is pretty, oh I can, I can equip it, and then I can press B to open up the backpack and put it back in my hotbar, okay that's actually really really cool, this is going to improve things by a lot. So guys, I think as the sun is rising, I'm going to call this an episode. We did some pretty good progress. We have found this over here, this dungeon. It is going to be a very big dungeon, and I'm looking very much forward to exploring it, because we hopefully, in the next episode, will be able to find the old eye. I want to explore more of it, but I just don't want this video to become too long. So yeah, but that is really good progress. We are almost there at 10 hearts. I almost want to run around and see if I can get it down and maybe get the tenth. And while I do that, we of course also made the backpack, we had a raid. A lot of stuff happened actually. Also, while I am getting the final parts of my hunger down, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it so you don't miss the next episode because it is coming your way. Also, if you wish and really do enjoy my content and want to support me even, even further, you can do so over on patreon.com slash binary vigilante. And with that, cake, oh, cooked cod maybe? There we go, 10 hearts. We're in business, see you in the next one, have a wonderful day, and until then, goodbye.